since I vlogged. So I'm excited to take you around just a casual Friday with me. So I just woke up. You're gonna go ahead and get started with my skincare. I've already washed my face. Lately, I've been using the Chantecai Flower Harmonizing Cream. I really do like it. It's very moisturizing. And it has like a very soft floral scent, which is actually quite relaxing when applying my skincare. My skin is really sensitive. I've learned to moisturizers. A lot of times, the moisturizer that I'm using is wet actually causes my breakouts so this one has been very nice for my skin i'm really happy about that uh, the sunscreen that i keep in my bathroom i keep multiple sunscreens in different places to remind me here i have the enos free daily uv sunscreen so i'm gonna go ahead and use that this one is nice it's very moisturizing so my plants for today i actually was at an event last night i'll talk about that in a second but I'm like really tired. I'm very socially drained. I'm very introverted. So I have a video that I want to film, edit, and upload the same day. My top 10 summer palettes. I don't think that one should be too hard. And I was looking at my videos for the past week and they were quite negative because I did worst of 2022 with the Nordstrom anniversary sale, which I wasn't happy about. And then I also did a shopper drop, which I was pretty negative about as well. Just the makeup launching and all of that. I'm like, look about. So I want to do a positive video. So I'm going to do top 10 summer palettes. I want to go to Trader Joe's today too. I watch all of this. The Trader Joe's hauls that pop up on my TikTok feed, but I've actually never bought Trader Joe's food for myself, so I want to check that out. I've been to Trader Joe's before. I've walked through my mom when I was living with my parents would take me when she would shop at Trader Joe's. I've decided for the first time I'm going to shop at Trader Joe's for myself and have their food at my house, so I'm excited about that. I'll probably check that out earlier today. And yeah, we're just going to have a chill day. I hope it's not too boring, but it's been a while since I vlogged. I don't know, should I head over to Trader Joe's now? Maybe I'll find something for breakfast because we don't have much food in the house. So last night, I went to my very first, I would say, like, influencer event miami i've gone to a couple of things in the past but they were like super short i really wouldn't count them like last night was my first event that i got dressed up for and it was it was with charlotte tilbury i've actually said no to a few of those in the past just because i get really nervous and anxious and out of my comfort zone especially being here like i don't know anybody <laughs> i did, i had to go to charlotte tilbury i mean obviously right and it was actually a really good time i'm gonna show some videos here so beautiful it was at a hotel in south beach and whoever the team was that set it up oh my gosh it was just absolutely stunning i even talked to a charlotte tilbury makeup artist and she told me what bronzer color she thought would work best on me so i got a little kind of a shade match and the best part i left with a goodie bag so i thought we could go through it together <laughs> the bag is so cute i have a little this is my second Charlotte Tilbury tote, which I'm excited about. So look at this. In the bag, I got a cryo recovery face mask. I've never tried this. These look so neat. They're just a little on the pricier side. So I've never had like tried one before. So I'm excited. This is amazing, you guys. I got a magic night cream in the bag. I love this cream. It is a lifesaver in the winter or when my skin is really thirsty. So I'm excited about that. Can't forget the magic eye rescue. So this is also a really amazing eye cream. I actually used it just yesterday to put my makeup on for last night by the way my dress was from zara it was so flattering i just got it a few days ago so it still should be available i'll try and link it if i can find it i'm gonna zoom in a little bit i got this sunscreen and i also got wonder glow so this is just the primer we also have the super collagen super fusion facial oil now here's the thing I have had very good luck with Charlotte Tilbury skincare in the past, but I don't want to have good luck with her skincare because she is not cheap, okay? Not cheap, but I do really enjoy her skincare. For what I've tried in the past, I also have the new Glow Toner. So this is a new product. It was like on a really gorgeous display. And of course, one of the people who work at Charlotte Tilbury was going to tell me this, but <laughs> they said it was so amazing and that I absolutely had to try it so i was like uh, so you don't gotta tell me twice 
I got a new Pillow Talk mascara. Oh, you guys, Pillow Talk Dreams. This was in my best of 2022 eyeshadow palette video. So I'm gonna give my mom first dibs on this and if she doesn't want it, I'm giving it away. And then my mom has already claimed this. So my mom's getting this, the Pillow Talk Multi Glow in Dreamlight. So this is the darker of the highlight color. Let me show you, just in case you don't know what I'm talking about. This is so beautiful. I even use a deeper color. This one right here, Dreamlight, on myself. It's so pretty. Okay, and then we got Pillow Talk Lipstick and Lip Cheat. My lip cheat is actually really, really short, so I'm happy to have a new one. And then, so I did end up getting Shade Match by a Charlotte Artist for the Beautiful Skin Sun Kissed Glow Bronzer. So we mutually agreed that number two medium was the best shade on me, but I already owned that. And so she actually put number three on me and she said, you can use this for a deep dramatic contour. And it was very, very nice on me. So I just wanted to make sure I didn't get another one of the shade that I have, because I already have one and two, but I didn't have three. And she said three would still work on me. Obviously I would need to use a light hand. And it sh everybody was like cheering me on. They were like, ooh girl, that looks so good so it looks super scary she did she made it look good and then i also got the bronzing brush and then the last item that's in the goodie bag we're at the bottom now is a charlotte tilbury hair clip which i love hair clips like these so i'm excited yeah i am so grateful the goodie bag was worth it seriously you guys i am just on cloud nine about this i can't believe i even got invited i am so 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 grateful i never thought i would like go to things like this i really never did i knew moving to miami that those opportunities would open up but i didn't think my first one was gonna freaking be charlotte tilbury because miami is not la there aren't as many beauty events but well I am just so incredibly grateful. You have no idea. I'm going to throw some of this stuff in my 100k giveaway because you guys, we are getting so close. Yesterday, I think I hit 95k on YouTube, which is so crazy. I did hit 100k on TikTok, which is so funny to me because you guys know I have been working so hard on my YouTube channel for the past four years and I never imagined I would hit 100k. I remember thinking to myself, wow, if you have 100,000 followers, like you've made it. And that was my all time very far reach goal. I never thought I was going to hit it. So after I hit 100k, I have no more goals after that. <laughs> like I hit my one YouTube goal, which was 100k. And I've been super nostalgic lately and just thinking about where i come from and where i am now and i'm so so grateful yeah so i mean thank you all right i'm hungry i'm gonna get dressed and if i don't find a breakfast item at trader joe's that i want maybe i'll stop by somewhere else jose and i i think are gonna go to get crabs for dinner tonight to celebrate because i hit 100k on tiktok on monday and i want to do something to celebrate so we said we would go on a friday night okay yeah i'm gonna get dressed enough talking morgan enough here is the outfit for today let me back up hold on just so you can see I recently just picked this up from Amazon and this is a big deal you guys. I am only like 4'10", 4'11", and this does not drag on the ground. It's the perfect, perfect length. So if you're short like me, I am definitely going to link this. It was like $30. Oh my gosh, I love flowy dresses like this in Miami because it's just so hot. The only thing I would change about this is just on my frame because i'm so petite this part is a little bit long like it would be more flattering if it hit me up here but i don't even care the fact that it doesn't drag on the ground is a bigger deal i actually picked up a few really cute dresses recently i'll have to show you when i get home oh actually i'll just show you now so the other dress that I got from Amazon, again, $30, it's another dress like this. I have a type. If I like something, I need it in every color. But this one is cute because it has a cutout. I think I'm going to an event. I don't know if it'll end up working out, but I think I'm going to an event next week in a couple weeks with Glow Recipe. 
And since they're brand color is pink, I think I'm going to wear this. And it also is the absolute most perfect length as well. The only thing is on me, this strap is just a wee bit too long, but if I fashion tape it, it will be good. So I recently got these two from Amazon and they are just the cutest and the perfect length. You guys, if you're short, you have to pick them up. They're adorable. You guys know the struggle, you do. Also, the bag that I'm gonna wear with this is my YSL college medium I haven't had many opportunities to wear this because I haven't been wearing much dark colors this summer and I don't know if it's just been wanting to wear lighter handbags this might be a bit much for Trader Joe's in the morning <laughs> but whatever it's fine I have a Trader Joe's haul for you I was so entranced I forgot to vlog anything but i'm gonna do a haul with you jose and i's kind of rule of thumb we eat unhealthy you guys see the videos that i post but we only eat healthy in the house we keep only healthy foods if we want an unhealthy snack then we go out and we get the unhealthy snack that went out the window when i was there for some reason hold on let me show you what i got i was influenced by tiktok a lot if any of you guys watch trader joe's hauls on tiktok i feel like 35 dollars for what i got is not terrible so I got crunchy curls. If you watch Bria on TikTok, who does so many like Trader Joe's recipes, she loves these. So I'm gonna try them. I'm excited about this. Cold brew coffee and boba ice cream. Oh, it's coconut, not da non-dairy. I didn't even see that. I like dairy. But anyways, I'm so intrigued to try this because we love boba in this household. This is not exciting, but I got some sweet chili sauce. I have some tofu in the fridge that I wanted to air fry up, so I wanted some of that for my tofu. This was super trending, the Caucho y Pepe. I couldn't remember what pasta she used with it, but nonetheless, um, I make a lot of pastas and stuff for quick, easy meals for Jose's lunch and stuff, so I wanted to try a new pasta sauce. Super sour Scandinavian swimmers. I like a good sour gummy, and I think I heard Bria talking about these as well. She's my main influence. If you don't know, my husband is Spanish, and paella is their big thing. So I saw they had seafood paella, so I wanted to try it. I don't know. <laughs> I also got some hash browns for breakfast this morning. I said I was gonna get breakfast and I have some avocados and I see people, I'm such a copycat, eating avocado mashed on top of the hash brown, so I'm gonna do that today since we have avocados ready. Okay, this is the only healthy thing that I got, watermelon, <laughs> for my breakfast or snack. And then the last two things that I got, I got pork shumai dumplings and then chicken soup dumplings which i think i heard was good as well they have a decent frozen asian section and you guys know i'm half asian i'm obsessed with asian foods so i'm gonna work my way through the trader joe's asian section for sure so excited what do i try first at 10 in the morning i spent 35 dollars for all of this i mean most of it is pre-prepared food so i feel like that wasn't that bad Mmm. They're like the perfect consistency. I don't know why I waited so long to shop at Trader Joe's. Because then I mostly shop at Amazon Fresh because we're lazy. We have it delivered. I feel like we also save more money ordering online anyways. Okay. I give these a 10 out of 10. I mean, there's nothing wrong with them. Okay, and then Bria, let's try your crunchy curls. The aftertaste is really yummy. I feel like these need a sauce, like a nacho cheese, or spinach and artichoke dip. Like a 6.5. They're good. These are like the kind of thing that are good to keep in the house because I'm not gonna eat the whole bag in one day. But they're like good if you need a crunchy snack. I want to try this, but I'm gonna wait for Jose because he's the boba freak here. Okay, cool. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna do avocado hash brown for breakfast. You know, I want to take Jose because there was so much more that I wanted to get 
But one, it's just the two of us. And two, I didn't want to carry everything by myself. <laughs> I need Jose to carry this other stuff I want to get. I'm going to research Trader Joe's today. Okay, I'm going to make breakfast. So I have this avocado. I do not know it's going to be good. It's like suspiciously black on the outside. And beautiful. Lovely. I have these reusable Ziploc bags from Amazon and they've been great, but this one all of a sudden does not want to close. Let me mash this avocado. The hash brown is done, which by the way was a really good price. It's $2.49 and you got like 10 of them. Random, but I'm gonna put just a little bit of spinach for some crunch. I literally put spinach on everything you guys like three leaves and I feel like I'm a healthier person I don't know it's a it's a mental thing now what would be amazing on this would be an over easy egg or a sunny side up egg and then I did cut some onions tomato would also be good but we only have like three cherry tomatoes left and then a little bit of Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning I actually ordered this on Amazon a long time ago because I didn't have a Trader Joe's near me in Maryland and I wanted to try this and it's so good this is breakfast you guys let's try it mm. okay so I'm gonna enjoy my breakfast on our balcony somebody's playing music outside I'm gonna answer some emails so guys so funny so I have a friend here who does Instagram she's so cute I will tag her here her name is Kate so she's more like lifestyle influencer and then obviously I makeup and she texted me about a setting spray and I was like you know what I have some come up and grab some and I put some extra makeup because I'm always giving my stuff away to people there are perks to having lifestyle friends because she sent me some I don't know what this is super coffee like an energy coffee drink so I got Got these in exchange for giving her makeup so I'll have to try these these look cute I went through, I picked my top 10 palettes for summer. By the time this video is up, the 10 palette video is already up. This was like the easiest time ever. I knew exactly which palettes to pick. I don't know, there's so many inspiring palettes for summer since I've been into more pops of color for eyeshadows. So that was what this whole video is. Okay, I'm gonna get ready and start filming this. I just realized I have not had my cup of coffee today. <laughs> I've been snacking on those dang Scandinavian swimmers or whatever from Trader Joe's that I got and so I haven't felt the need for anything sweet I just read the nutrition facts on those. I don't know why I'm shocked <laughs> But like six of them is hundred and ten calories and I've made a lot more than six Okay, let me make my coffee Should I try this? I wasn't gonna use this this I don't know is this Kitu K-I-T-U super coffee positive energy zero sugar Sweetened with monk fruit. I'm gonna try this. Hold on. Mmm, smells good. Hmm. Hmm. I can definitely taste the monk fruit. I'm gonna make it unhealthy. <laughs> Let's add some sugar to it. I can't live without my creamer, y'all. Kind of has this weird, like, cola taste to it. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, a little bit of creamer. Well, thank you, Kate. This is pretty good. I'm not mad at it. Me again in the same spot because this is where the best lighting is and where my background is the cleanest. This is the look we went for today. Very bright and green because I wanted to do like a summery kind of look. I just picked up a couple packages and thought we could unbox them. So I am actually due for a new skincare routine. So I'm gonna have to take it slow because you guys know I have very sensitive reactive skin so I can't be doing my skincare routine too much. But I got some items from the Inky List. And I like the Inky List because they're very affordable. You can get them at Target. 
And so we have the Acid Brightening Cleanser, Hyaluronic Acid, PHA Toner, and Simbright Moisturizer. So I filled out a quiz online, and this is what the formula or whatever is supposed to be good for my skin, for my wants. Because I think I said I wanted to brighten my skin because I feel like it's been looking a little dull lately. And I am not in need of as much hydration as I once was because I'm so sweaty here. I actually think I'm going to switch over to the Inky List next. To see what it does since that's like the products that they gave me. The next package is another skincare brand, Youth to the People. This one looks exciting. I don't know what I'm gonna do on with all this skincare because I want to try all of these brands. I genuinely do, but I, you know, skincare takes time. It's not a makeup product that I can like put on my face one time and tell you how I feel. Also, I don't want my skin to break out like crazy, but I think you to the people, from what I'm aware, is supposed to be a very good skincare brand, so. Oh my goodness, wow. Hold on, let me show you. So this is the youth to the people. They sent me superfood cleanser, serum, another serum, moisturizer, a mask, a energizing facial, wow. Thank you, used to the people. This looks amazing. <gasps> I don't know what skincare to try first. Okay, so I need you to know I am not complaining right now because if there were any problems to have in life, these are the problems that I want to have. But I've had a lot of like sponsorships and partnerships recently, so I keep the products out to remind me to test, to remind me to film. And then I've just gotten a lot of PR in general lately. So I have boxes just sitting everywhere, piles of makeup. It's super obnoxious. But I'm gonna show you some other things that I got in the mail recently that I don't think I've showed yet. So I got a brow lamination kit from Brow Code. Yeah, remember how I told you I didn't like lamination brows or laminated brows? I mean, I don't when they're crazy, but if you like it, you do you, you know? But I do like a little bit of lift in the brow. I feel like it makes my brows look fuller. So I'm gonna try that. They also sent other eyebrow products and I'm excited about this. I haven't tried this yet. This is the Essence Once Upon a Time. I'm saving to open this on TikTok, at least just for the intro. But these are the new Lash Princess eyeliners. So I'm excited to test these out. I also got some stuff from Lethal Cosmetics. Now this is their newest collection. I haven't opened them yet. I got these in the mail like yesterday, but. So let's see, what do we have Lethal? I think they sent a bunch of the individuals. Oh, I'm gonna have to put this together before I can show you. Yeah, so there's like an empty six pan palette and then an empty blush, or an empty quad, neat. Face powder, it's kind of an orangey color and then a pinky face powder color. Multi-chrome shadows, yes, these are multi-chrome shadows. Ooh, well, I'm excited. There also is like a bunch of face powders. Wow, all of these, like you can kind of see that in there. A number of these are white. Ooh, can you see these? They look so pretty. Thank you, Camera Ready Cosmetics, and thank you, Lethal, for allowing Camera Ready to work with me. I'm excited. You guys know I've been testing my Lethal stuff slowly but surely. So then Sigma Beauty yesterday sent over their Enchanted collection, which is launching July 5th. And I believe I already have the Enchanted eyeshadow palette. I don't love this palette, but I love the color story, if that makes sense. Okay, yeah. No, I, I do have this eyeshadow palette. I think they just made a collection out of it. So in case you're wondering, I don't know, unless they've changed the formula, I don't love this palette, but the color story is so beautiful that I use it anyways. And they also came out with a mini enchanted eyeshadow palette. Let's take a look at this. These shades already exist. So I think the enchanted eyeshadow palette is so popular that they made a mini and what a cute little curation. Okay, so I know even though I'm not the biggest fan of this palette from Sigma, so many people are. Don't let my biases get you down if you want it. We have a couple lip 
products and then we also have the enchanted eye brush set so thank you so much sigma i will definitely link this collection for you guys if you're interested because like i said i might not love enchanted but i know a lot of you guys do i, I have a new nomad cosmetics palette it's the province palette and it's so pretty i love these colors honestly not out of my comfort zone but i I don't have a ton of palettes that look like this, if any. I love how cool this sounds, but also still warm. Nomad does a phenomenal job with their color story. I've noticed some of their palettes have been hit or miss for me, but generally speaking, they do a phenomenal job with the color stories. The Paradise Islands is the most recent one that came out before this. Loved it. Again, some inconsistency of the quality, but still love it. There also looks to be some lip glosses in the collection as well. So I'll have to play with that. Fourth Ray sent me some cooling facial gloves. I actually like these. Some Olive and June press-on nails. So I don't use press-on nails, but thank you, Olive and June. My fingers are too small. That's the reason why. Yeah, these won't fit me. I might I have baby fingers. So none, no press on nails fit me. Otherwise, in theory, they are a great idea. And then this is a new collection. The day that I'm filming this, it launched yesterday, but it, it's been a few days for when you guys see it. But I think this is their Opal, Opal I Did It Again collection. I have not opened this. I've seen photos online of this collection. So pretty. I love the acrylic packaging that ColourPop does. I know some people think it's cheap, but I just love being able to see Okay, so my camera battery very rudely died, but <laughs> it cut off where I was showing you guys the Opal collection. This one's a little warm, so I don't like this one as much, but I love this one. Two highlight palettes, Super Shock highlight palettes, and then I like this lip gloss formula. So thank you, ColourPop. Oh, and there's this shimmering body powder. I'm thinking I'm going to do like a roundup of the new ColourPop stuff that I've gotten recently because it is... Quite overwhelming. I gotta film swatches. It's 2.30 now. I normally like to post at 5 when possible. That's kind of like my goal posting time, but I like I'm gonna late start today. I normally don't like to film, edit, and upload on the same day. I, well, I normally like to film and edit the day before and then I'll like post it the following day. And that normally is a little less chaotic, but I don't know, I was so busy this week. I had so much to do. That's the way the cookie crumbled, but I don't know. It's like part of me thrives off the high, fast pace, doing really good at the last minute kind of work ethic but it's it's definitely less peaceful so i'm just gonna sit out on our balcony and edit and i don't know it's not as enjoyable nowadays in july <laughs> to edit out there but i still i just the fresh air man it's so good all right let's go So I finished editing. I am sitting here working on the description box, getting all the links of what I'm wearing and what he mentioned. Well, I've gotten asked a few times who I watch for handbag videos because if you didn't know, I've um, fallen down a rabbit hole of watching handbag videos and yes, my eyelashes are popping. It's these lashes, I don't like them. But anyways, uh, so one of my favorites is Sergio's Secret and I'm actually watching right now. This is literally the bag that I want this I'm thinking of buying I don't know maybe when I hit 100k uh, I love this uh, bag so, so this much is going to be a really so now, wear now bag. this one for Marc Jacobs is next on my wish list but anyways for the next hour and a half before Jose gets home from work I'm gonna upload this video and then I'm gonna make a TikTok I have to figure out how to make TikToks into Instagram reels without the uh what is it the the thing that says TikTok in the corner. The watermark, without the watermark. I guess I'll have to Google it. And then I'll be done with work for today. I actually have a couple more packages that came in from FedEx. Though they might not be makeup, but I, they usually are. All right, bye. I gotta get to work. They just got back from work and remember how I bought this cold brew coffee and boba ice cream? So we're gonna try it. He's excited about it. The only thing is, I didn't see this until after I bought it, but it's coconut non-dairy. Yeah, so I just want to It's a little too coffee. You like it? 
Mm -hmm. Oh, and you did, did you get a boba? Mm -hmm. well, I did it. I think I got your. Mm. It's good, right? It's pretty good. It's really good. I like, I like it. it. Solid eight. Solid eight. Awesome. I can't tell that it's non dairy. I think I give it like a seven. I'd eat it again. I thought because it was Friday, we could not go to the gym today. But as you can see, I've been convinced, held against my will. What do you think about Trader Joe's? Oh, it's amazing. I love it. It's almost <laughs> back to Spain. They have everything. Okay, so this vlog ended up being completely revolving around Trader Joe's. I don't know how that happened, but I had unfinished business. Jose really liked it, which I'm very, very happy about. So we spent another $75. Bananas. I got some lemon or vanilla meringues. Meringues. Jose got some maple pecan granola cereal. I wanted to buy everything, but I had to remind myself it just wasn't necessary. I guess Jose got some sparkling lemonade. Oh, we got a little cute half baguette. Okay, some mints. These are all Jose's stuff, none of mine. I don't know what these are. A Spanish wine. They had a whole Spanish wine section. All the ears and stuff is mine. I want to try the beef pho soup. I wasn't going to get some chow su bao, but I saw there was only three left, so I freaked out. And I was like, well, I need it. Stuff was selling out between this morning and later this evening. Because I got some ice cream sandwiches. Show them. Yeah. I told you in the, earlier in the vlog, we only eat help, bring healthy food at home. But that went out the door today. We got some frozen shrimp. Korean inspired bulgogi beef fried rice with kimchi. This sounds right up my alley. I'm so excited. One of you guys recommended it to me. I got some cheese tortellinis. I don't know, I might make this for Jose's lunches next week. Got some cheese. There were so many fancy cheeses. Just some brie. Picked out some OJ and then also a swordfish steak. I've never tried that. Oh, because it's already into the <laughs> ice cream sandwich. If you hear that crinkling. Is it good? Let me see. Hmm. It's too chocolatey for me. I'm not gonna say it's bad though. Dinner tonight. I air fried some tofu. Yummy. And then I used ABC sweet soy sauce. And then this is the sweet chili sauce from Trader Joe's. Air frying tofu is the way to go if you're gonna make tofu. Honestly though, not me giving cooking advice because I have no clue how to cook. So proceed with caution with what I say. Good morning, it's me in the exact same spot again. Uh, but I wanted to finish off this vlog and I forgot to tell you guys. Remember how I had tofu for dinner last night and I told you we were actually gonna go get seafood boil? Well, I wasn't hungry enough, so we didn't. But anyways, I picked up some more packages last night so I thought I'd unbox them. But today, this is Saturday and Jose and I are probably just gonna chill by the pool and stuff, which is super boring. So nothing really to vlog today. But this first package, well, this is the only package. I got a second package, but it was like an Amazon outfit that I guess I'll try for you guys. But this is from Milani. So Milani always has really cute PR package. This is the Clean Girl Makeup Essentials. Okay, so they sent a little booklet on everything that's going to be in here. So they sent over the Anti-Gravity Mascara. We have a Cheek Kiss Liquid Blush in Berry Smooch. A Erase Base. This is a blemish control primer. I really like Milani's primers. I haven't tried this one before. We got the Milani Glow Drops. I think I already have this. This is a really nice hydrating primer from the drugstore. I have a Make It Last Sunscreen Setting Spray. Ooh, that's really neat. I'm excited about that because the Make It Last is a really great, affordable, long wear setting spray. And this one has sunscreen, which 
obviously should not be a replacement for sunscreen but you can never have too much sunscreen oh and i forgot this the last thing is this balm shell plumping lip balm but it looks like a lip gloss very interesting so that's that i also got an amazon package this i think is just an outfit that i ordered let's see yeah i'll try it on in the bedroom give me a minute so this is what i got it's kind of hard to tell because it's all black but i've been looking at linen sets i don't know it's comfy for living in miami and like you don't need to think about it i didn't want to get black they sell this in all different kinds of colors but black was one of the ones where i didn't have to wait like two weeks to get it it was one of the ones that was for prime delivery so it's a pair of linen pants i ordered a size small i usually wear a small the waist on this is really big on me and so if i don't fold it it kind of hits me awkwardly so it looks better on me folded so maybe size up um and then it just comes with a matching black tank which i was hoping was a little bit more cropped but that's fine that it's not and it has cute little buttons at the top anyways i like this i might consider getting this in like a white color as well because this is really good for days that you want kind of a matching outfit and you don't want to put any thoughts and it's super duper comfy so it's nice ignore my socks i wanted to get a better idea of how the pants looked without my socks rolled up so i will link this as well like i said it comes in a lot of colors it's not too expensive i'm only 411 for reference and it hits me at a good spot lengthwise i'm gonna end the vlog here thank you so much for hanging out with me in my not very exciting life if i'm being honest <laughs> but i still hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me all the food talk this vlog was so fun for me i'll catch you guys in the next one bye guys have a good one